Hi everybody, this is Nerd Faction. Today we will build a FreeNAS server from an old computer that will be recycled, basically. So let's go to the shop. Hey, so we're uh, inside the, the shop. So basically we'll uh, install FreeNAS server inside an old computer. Right now the spec inside the computer uh, are uh, 866 megahertz, 700-ish uh, meg of RAM and we have an AGP Pro video card, uh, 2.3 PCI and a couple of USB also and the hard drive uh, we'll use in the IDE uh, drives. Also, we have a power supply, uh, 420 watts, but you can also use any power supply between 380 watts, but uh, everything depends on your uh, device number inside the computer, of course. I will just make sure it's, uh, the camera is positioned correctly, so you can see the hard disk. Uh, this is the EDI. Uh, we will use it's a 60 gig and also this is the video card right there uh, AGP Pro and the USB uh, there so we have the sound cards but I will not use it it's only a server for space so basically after that um, we need to make sure we have proper connection um, for that we will need uh, the power cord so we need to have uh, power cord from the, the power supply, uh, the SATA one, the black one, not the white one. First, I try to do uh, a FreeNAS server with uh, only IDE drive, two, two, two drives, and it didn't work. Why? Um, because the drives are so old, uh, FreeNAS doesn't manage probably those drive uh, and create a raid uh, from there so basically I just uh, removed this idea put it on the side so I decide to uh, just add a new card a PCR card inside the computer uh, that I will show you right now oh, so this is the the kind of uh, PCI uh, card I just installed into the computer so it's only 40 bucks 40 ish bucks on any uh, computer uh, uh, shop, uh, so like uh, four channel, uh, uh, for drive, so for uh, for SATA and two for ESATA. Uh, so we have RAID. So I will just add the new uh, the new card inside the, the my empty s slot. Uh, so we just need to be sure it's uh, properly set. Need to make sure we're not uh, touching any uh, any part of the motherboard. So I will reposition that that way. So we need to just insert the card and make sure we're clipping uh, on the motherboard on the both side, of course. The next step is to put, of course, a screw. So anybody at home can do that. It's really easy. Uh, so we just uh, screw the, the card. So when it's done, we need to double check. Everything is there. So we will plug um, the SATA cable uh, inside this card to the drive. So I will take the red cord. So we have four of them mid-screen, basically, right there. So you can see it. So we need to take uh, the one from the bottom for first. And we'll plug right there.
So I have one that connected. So also uh, we need to have our drive. So I'm using right now the mobile uh, like laptop uh, drive. So one one is 250 gigs and the other one it's 320. We need to make sure uh, in that case I'm not using the same drive uh, size. But ideally you should use two clone size of it. Like as, as an example, two times 500 gigs. It should work perfectly. So it will it will merge it all together and create uh, you can create mirror and everything right now what i'm using it's two different kind of size i will just merge them with free nas and it will create one drive of uh, i think seven uh, five hundred uh, something gig so i will connect both so i'm doing the second one and I will connect uh, this one on the uh, on the side of the uh, actual uh, red wire. There we go. So we just plug the power. And when it's done, I will just place uh, the drive inside the case, just like that for now. We need to secure the, the drive after all, but for now it will stay there. So um, I was uh, kind of concerned on the PCI card I just installed, the SATA card, because I was not sure if my computer will take it. Um, but when I tried to to do it, and it, it works. So it works. It just uh, the BIOS recognize uh, uh, the the card, so it, it, it's fine. So basically, in the next part, uh, you will see uh, the installation uh, live of FreeNAS server on the machine. So let's uh, let's see that next time. So thank you, and please subscribe, and have a nice day.